The Minister for Environment at the time, Judy Edwards, promised Steve Hesse and the community full involvement in deciding where the air monitors should be placed. According to the National Pollution Inventory, ammonia is one of the pollutants of concern in Kunana. The two biggest emitters of ammonia are CSBP and Kunana Nickel Refinery. And according to wind distribution data, the dominant wind direction for over 90% of the time is northeasterly. Thus, Steve Hesse recommended the ammonia monitor be placed here, on Chalk Hill. The Department of Environment ignored his recommendations and placed the monitor here, upwind of the pollution. When Steve Hesse presented these diagrams at a community meeting, John Sutton from the Department of Environment dismissed them as simplistic and unscientific. But it doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out that the monitors should be placed close to and downwind of industry if we are to get accurate results about their emissions. Air monitoring has been a real problem in Kwinana. They're resisting any attempt down there to install uh, particulate monitors, uh, which measure for things like PM2.5, very fine particles that can get right down into your lungs. And when they do place monitors, they tend to put them upwind from the source of pollution, and there's a whole lot of skullduggery that goes on around the whole area of air monitoring, which I could, I could fill a book with. Kwinana industries expel waste not only into the air, but also into the ocean and the ground. These men are subcontractors working in heavy industry in Quinana. If, you, if you've got the choice, well, we, we've chosen to work in this industry, and that's so be it, but if you've got the choice, go live somewhere else. <laughs> Simple. Do you think that um, the industry would be able to do, take more measures to decrease the amount of pollution? Yep. Of course they can, but it yeah. costs them too much money. Money. The, the Everything's down to the almighty dollar. 95% of cases, it's a matter of money. Yeah. Uh, there's very few issues where it's a technical issue where they can't reduce the pollution because they can't process whatever they want to process. It's a matter of money and profit. Every scrubber they don't put on a stack is more profit on the bottom line of that company. Um, and every time they don't put a scrubber on, there's more pollution in the community. And it's all about money. It's all about um, these companies trying to avoid their environmental responsibilities and avoid spending the money they should have spent 20 years ago on pollution control. Uh, and until they're forced to do that um, by uh, environmental laws or by community pressure, they won't do it. And they will change if they're required to do so, um, but they've got a very compliant government and a very compliant environmental department at the moment that's not going to lift a finger to make them do that. So what has the government's response been to the um, higher statistics of um, disease? Oh, absolute denial. Um, they're, you know, heads in the sand stuff. Or, you know, it, it's, it's disgraceful from my point of view. And, and some very good epidemiologically trained people uh, participate in this process, which disappoints me. Well, the coal's the worst. Coal's the absolute worst of it. Yeah. I mean, if the government's not willing to actually do it with their own industries, which is obviously their power stations, then... I mean, there's no way that um, privatised industries are going to bother doing it. It really bothers me. I suppose the stressful part for me is knowing that these people in these government departments and high up in the government actually know what's going on and are doing the wrong thing. And you've got to wonder how these people sleep at night. I don't know how they do because I've got a conscience. That's what I do, what I do. And I've seen what's going on and I've got to try and do what I can do about it. you think they would be the same. If we do prove that there is an issue between health issues and pollution in Kwinana, I'm sure that people will sue. That's not my plan. And being someone myself who's had cancer, um, I wouldn't sue because I don't think that's what it's about. What it's about to me and to others doing it is to stop it happening in the future, to make it safe for our kids and grandkids into the future. I'm not a toxicologist, I'm not a medical expert, and I'm not a politician. I'm just a student from the country. But I know when something's not right. <laughs>